Good morning. It is Wednesday, uh, 17th, and I missed out on a big opportunity to record today, but I'm going to start recording it now. Um, I have to move three condensers further out from the house. They were about a foot away from the house, and they were all really close to each other. So I moved them out uh, about two feet, and I gave them 14 inches of distance in between. We wanted more, but we can't because we're already taking up a lot of space with where the condensers are. But we have to move it so they can get electrical work done. Uh, I'll show you everything that I did. But right now I'm on my way to the shop to pick up 7 8 line set, 3 quarter line set, 3 8 line set, uh, filter dryers, so that I can hook it all back up and get it running today. Okay, so here are the condensers in place. This is where the electrical work is going to be done. But you could see where they used to be. They were facing the other direction. And I moved them about two feet out. I had to move them over this way. And you could only get about 14 inches of spacing between them because of those garbage cans. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna start working on connecting the line set, working with that disconnect, and getting everything charged and running. So I did my first two, bra three brazes really. Which I didn't look cool because this one you can see is really close to the house and I didn't want to burn the house, but this is the coupling that I brazed in. I tried using the captain hook uh, and it worked. It was a little more difficult for me though. So I switched off of the captain hook and used the regular tip and this is the brace on that. There was a very big gap here. So I just kind of had to fill it in more. That's why it looks like there's a lot. And uh, I am flowing nitrogen, but I just switched it over and turned it off because I'm gonna put it into the liquid side because I'm gonna do a filter dryer and 3 8 line and I have my Schrader pins pulled as well. So I don't burn those up and it'll let the nitrogen out quicker when I'm done pressure testing. So I got one system, that one system hooked up to the vacuum and letting it vacuum down. It actually pulled down pretty quickly to 500 uh, considering that it's 7 8 line set. But right now we're at 392 and dropping. These are my brazes, which aren't the, bit, aren't the best. Um, I think I'm doing a lot better, but I still think that they need to be, they're not, they're not close to perfect yet. Um, I'm going to move on to the next unit. I'm going to do the electrical after the, I hook up all the line sets, because that's what's taking the longest, is brazing and vacuuming and pressure testing, so I'm going to get that done before I do any electrical work. Just got the second one braced in, and it's pressurized now. Two. 250. I'll let that sit for a while. I pressurize with the analog gauges just because uh, the digital ones I have are the Bluetooth Testos and this is easier just because I have more hoses and I could you know, do whatever, do one side or the other side. I like it. Um, sight glass, filter dryer. And I know it's not great once again, but I do like the bends that I did to get here. This one's gonna be a nightmare. Cause this is so close to the house and I have to get this to there. So I have to do a little bit of a U with elbows, which kind of stinks, but it's what I have to do. So hopefully that goes smoothly. It also goes from seven eighths to three quarter. So I'm gonna try to see if I can reuse the couplings here. Cause this one goes from three quarter to seven eighths. But I guess we'll see how it goes. Finished up now. I have Peter here. It is 6, 6.05, 6, 6.10 p.m. Uh, I wanted to stay to get this done because I wanted to get it done today. 
and this one was the trickiest. I had to twist around the elbow there and another elbow there had to come out. And then I had to put two elbows here to get it to bend. I made a bend with the bender there. Uh, the three ace was tricky too because it does that there and I didn't want to kink that. This one didn't come out as good as the first one did because it wasn't as direct. But there's a little bit of like a 45 bend there with the 90 and put a new whip in on this disconnect and that's it it's a lot of cleaning up to do but overall it turned out really nicely the customers going to be moving them again at some point so it is what it is for now if it's only temporary then i think this looks really good for temporary uh, it's definitely some of the better work that I've done, and Peter helped. Finished up, put the Pipe Doctor sticker on it. It's in a different location on all of them because I want it to be visible from all the angles. Almost fell. It's dark, it's late, I'm exhausted, Peter's exhausted. I think overall it looks really good, I'm super proud of it. Um, actually, I gotta plug in that disconnect. But I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it was. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't impossible. Just need to take pictures for the invoice. And then... We'll be done once I plug in this disconnect. So we finished up. Also, what I while I was working on the uh, units, I managed to knock over the nitrogen tank and break Mikey Pipes Easy Flow Braze tool. Just snapped that, fitting right off. What do you think about the install, Peter? Or not the install, but the adjustment? Uh, it was fun to watch and help out when I could help out. It turned out good. Looks good. Learned a good amount. This is his third time being around uh, the same refrigerant equipment for 410A, recovering, vacuuming, charging, and all that stuff. So hopefully he'll become familiar with it soon. I'm really proud of this. This is definitely the biggest thing I've ever done alone. I know Peter came for the tail end, but I, I was nervous about it. Those units were heavy too, lifting them on my own. And breaking all the bricks off. They were cemented into that, or they were, they used Concrete. some type of construction adhesive to cement the bricks down, so I had to break those loose without breaking the bricks. And it ended up turning out really good. I'm proud of it. Hopefully this is a good video. I know I didn't show that much. Brazing on that last one was a pain because yeah. we had one, two, two elbows to braze in and then Rebrazing the um, what do you call it? The elbows that were at the unit, but that took a while. I had I don't know how many leaks did I have, Peter, on that one? Uh, well, there was I think you had three, the one you had to go back to. Yeah, I had definitely had a lot of leaks on that one, but the first two I had zero leaks that I could remember. I'm completely exhausted and it's all mushing into one, but. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.